Hey, welcome to the channel. My name's Corey, along with my wife Jody and our two kids. We travel North America in our 38 foot bumper pool looking for new adventures all the time. Today we're going to take you on a trip with us to Sea Lion Cave, America's largest sea cave. How cool is that, right? So let's get going and I will see you from the bottom of the cave. Descending down. Here we go. Cave, to the back cave. To the back cave. Here we go. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. This better be awesome. Forty. Twenty. Is it? Yeah. Is it what you expected? No. Nope. What I did you even know we're going to be a lot so What did you expect before we got here? I just expected like just normal regular cave that we just down into. Yeah, not all with lights like and a, a bunch of information. Just like a little cave and then you can just walk down by these, by like three little sets. I didn't even get to be all there. I, I got to This is cool, huh? Oh, you Oh, you
What's a female stellar sea lion? We just learned about the stellar sea lion. Huh? First cave I've ever I've been in. <coughs> we have our mask on right now because they require that you keep your mask on the whole time you're in here so they can stay open. Yeah. Not that big of a deal. But I don't think I was not expecting when no. we came down like how lit it was in here. Like lit up and just nice, huh? Yeah. I, I didn't have any expectations, so yeah. Kind of I threw like us. I like when we're surprised. Yeah, that was a good surprise. That was cool. Um, right now, there's no sea lions here, but it's still worth coming in and checking out the cave. Uh, they said around December. Yeah, so they give you a discount this time of year because there's no sea lions actually in the cave because they're out and about feeding and whatnot. And they said that they come back um, about December and they're here through the winter. Um, and they give you a rain check with the price of your ticket now, and you can come back anytime. Uh, within a year and it's free so so um, yeah if you're in the area during the off season it's still worth coming and checking it out yeah we so, just watched a video about it too which was pretty cool uh-huh six minute long video that's crazy but, yeah <laughs> check this out yeah so for us we're gonna be on the coast over here for the rest of the year so Not, well yeah we'll be here in december for sure and so we get to check it out twice at a discounted rate. So that worked out. Exactly. Damn. I want to add this little spot to a place I want to come back to during a storm, huh? <laughs> just watch the waves just smash the rocks. See the power of the ocean is just amazing. I believe I could be wrong, but I believe it said ahead lighthouse. If you haven't seen our video, we have uh, put it down below or up above. But uh, you should be able to see a set ahead lighthouse on a clear day from here. But as you can see, it's foggy. So <laughs> we'll be back. We'll show it to you next time. We'll show it. Yeah, definitely. So all right. second look out here and as you can see it's foggy. Well, determining if it's worth the walk down and back up. <laughs> that's, that's a good size steep hill. Let's just do it. We need the exercise. They did say like this is a good area for well watching and I think that's something we're, we're going to get into. Maybe uh, on a clear day get the drone up too. I think that'd be pretty nice that's for a future video. That'd be cool to capture a well for sure.
So they have some parking right here in front. It's very limited, depending on what angle you're coming in for from. Then they have parking across the street, but you have a highway 101 right here. So let's cross it real quick. It's supposed to be a 30 mile an hour zone, but people are going like 40, 50. And there's RV parking right here in the middle which is cool. I guess they have additional parking up there. It's huh? a walk. It was a walk. <laughs> All right, so that's Sea Lion Cave. Uh, we'll definitely come back a couple months. Mm -hmm. They said December's the best time to come when all the sea lions are in. Mm -hmm. um, the cave's still pretty cool, even in the off season. We'll definitely be back for sure. Um, what else? Yeah, it was kind of a gloomy day, so forward to seeing it on a bright sunny day yeah we, we've driven past this thing like but usually when it's a bright sunny day when we have driven past packed. there's been a line like across the street it seems like so yeah it's been like packed I, that's not fun mm -hmm. i'd come on a gloomy day as long as the sea lions are in you know exactly. <laughs> you know but uh it's definitely worth worth the stop uh, they do have rv parking right there behind us and if you're just cruising the 101 this is a good little pull out and also just past it you can might be able to see it up to the right there's a pull out that would work for rvs as well we've seen uh, multiple people pull in there you know we, we keep bouncing between florence and newport and um we've done this probably about 20 times now mm -hmm. and yeah there's so many really cool pull offs all along the 101 i mean we did a video uh, a couple of weeks ago about Hasetta head lighthouse and that's just down the road from here yeah it's another cool place to devil's churn cape mm -hmm. perpetua like there's so much to do right in this little area yeah. so anyhow we'll uh let's go explore some more we'll see you at the next stop